I'm sorry. I haven't made an update in three weeks. Today is my sixth week um, post-op gastric bypass r and I'm sorry. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, so, I've been going through a lot the past three weeks. Uh, mainly emotionally. But, um, I, I just kind of want to update you guys. Um, so, my journey I started out at highest weight recorded 343. I can't believe that I got that big. Um, today I'm 280. So, uh, that's the total weight loss for me. I'm not prepared as usual. It's not the right button. So, 343 minus 280. 63 pounds altogether. Um, since surgery, since surgery, 25 pounds. Um, I'm not really happy with that, honestly. I've been, you know, eating my protein and I've been exercising three or four times a week. So I'm hoping once I get back to work and I'm not complacent with my day and I'm actually moving that my weight loss will get better. Um, I'm not complaining, you know, I've gone down <sighs> pant size and you can see my, you know, my collarbone, which is different, but, um, yeah, it's, it's really difficult because I see, you know, I see like two knocking foots and all of them, they're, they're losing like 50 pounds in their first six weeks and I'm like, I'm not. I don't know, maybe because they started out at a larger size or maybe I'm just doing something wrong. I don't know. I mean, I kind of stopped my protein shakes because I got like to the point where when I was eating them, I was feeling very nauseous and I was not wanting to like hold it down. Um, so I maybe think that I should do a protein shake in the morning instead of the egg beaters that I have. Um, I'm not sure. So there's a couple things that I'm struggling with right now emotionally that I kind of want to talk about because it is a reality after you get out of surgery. Um, I am overall happy. I can say that. Like as a whole, I'm happy with the decision that I made. I, I don't think I could have seen myself at all um, in the way that I was for much longer. Um, so these are just small sacrifices that I have to make in order to, for the bigger picture to make, you know, make perfect sense. Um, I'm having a problem with seeing myself as I am right now. Um, so yeah, I have lost 63 pounds. I fit into clothes a little bit better. I noticed that my chin is going down and I have a neck and I, I mean, I see that here, like with my eyes, but I don't see that up here. Um, so it's always, it's really astonishing when I look at myself and I, and I see that person and they don't match in my head. Um, the, you know, my mom and everybody's like, well, you know, you're going to have to get used to it. But it's like, you're told your whole life, pretty much, not by my family by any means, you know, by a couple people in my family, but mainly you're just told you're not good enough. So when people start complimenting you that don't usually, it's kind of like, thank you, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for you saying that, but you're just being nice. That's pretty much what's going through my head, so. I still see myself in my almost 350 pound body. And I'm not anymore, so. 
it's hard. Um, another thing is just kind of facing those demons. Because I'm able to eat almost normal now. Just facing those old demons like, when I'm full, I need to stop. I don't need to say, okay, I need one more bite. No. If I'm full, I need to stop. Um, I'm, I'm afraid right now. I'm afraid that I'm going to stretch my stomach. I'm afraid that I'm going to fall into bad habits like I had before. My eating is completely changed, but my habit of having that full feeling to feel fulfilled is really hard to shake. You can't at all prepare yourself for that before surgery, in my opinion, because um, because it's too difficult. Because in your old stomach, that's the way it is. But your new stomach, it's like it's new. This is your new stomach is your new start. Um, and all, and another like in other words, it's your rebirth when you have this surgery. But you're kind of going backwards. Instead of starting out small and working way up, you start out large and work your way down. So, so it's kind of um, that's kind of difficult for me, trying to say when enough is enough. Um, especially when you go out, uh, it's not so hard for me at home because I can pre-portion my food and put it on my plate, and then that's it. Um, when you go out, you're given this large portion, and it's like. What am I going to do with this? Okay, I'll eat the meat, and I'll eat the meat, and I'll eat the meat. Oh, look, at there's a tortilla. Maybe I'll have a few bites of that, you know? So it's difficult. Uh, generally, I'll ask for a box in the beginning and just say, can I get a box? And they say, yeah, okay. So I put the majority of it away, and then, you know, when I go home, I'll eat the leftovers. But So that's a couple things that I've been dealing with. Um, I can say that I'm... I'm handling pretty well. Um, I'm, you know, I'm taking it okay. I'm not like depressed or anything, but it's those two things it's been hard to cope with. So, um, considering right now seeking psychology, uh, psychological help just to help me cope with it. So, um, but overall, I'm fine. I'm not dead. I'm not, you know, in the hospital. I'm just, when I get into my moods, I just kind of shut the world out and I don't talk about it very much. So, um, I know that a few people from my job are watching this. Um, so hi. Hi. Um, I know a couple of my friends are, so hi. Hi. Um, and yeah, so, what was I going to say? Oh, I went to the dermatologist today. Not very much happened. Um, a big thing with women in, P in uh, being obese is there is a big chance of PCOS, which is what they think that I have. And that's what would cause the acne and the weird hair growth on my face. So, I'm not happy about that, but I have to get a pelvic ultrasound. Um, I have a doctor's appointment coming up on the... 3rd or the 4th of March. It's a Friday. I don't know. But I'm gonna I'm gonna make a pact. I'm gonna make a pact because I'm gonna break that pact. I'm gonna make videos as much but as I possibly can, but I can't promise anything, and I've said that before. Excuse me, I had a hiccup. Um the hiccups. <laughs> uh, so anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go. Because I'm almost at 10 minutes um, and I do not want to make this again. So I will talk to you guys later. <clears throat> and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. It's Tuesday, so you still have a little more ways to go. And tomorrow I start work. I'm not looking forward to it. So, alright, I'll see you guys a little later.